Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In this episode, I am going to talk about the autofocus types. Now, I'm not, being, I'm not really concerned about the number of autofocus points you have in your camera, uh, where, they are, where they are located. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to go through the types of autofocus points. So, let's get started. Most of today's DSLRs have used three types, well, most of today's cameras, period, use three types of autofocus points. Primarily, um, they are what? Uh, phase detection, contrast detection, and Canon's newest one, which, is, which I think is exclusive to Canon, which would be the dual point, uh, the dual pixel autofocus system. So, what's the difference between the three? I'm gonna attempt to explain it in English so it'll make sense. And uh, just, it's, you know, if you are serious about your photography, it's really good to know uh, about these details. Okay, so let's start with, um, let's start with phase detect autofocus points. Now, what I've done is I have created a piece of paper with some lines on it. And um, so, and I'm gonna use this, this piece of paper to kind of illustrate what, what, how phase detect works. Now, now, suffice it to say that when an image is lined up like this, then it's in focus. So what phase detect do is it takes an image, break it up, um, break it up into basically two images, and then it compares the size. It it goes, is this is this folk um, is this in sharp focus? Close but not quite, because I got a line at the top and a line at the bottom that's not matched up. And it just keep going until it gets it, okay? And it can do this really quickly, as you guys already know. Now, um, now for cross-type autofocus systems, then it does it both on the horizontal side and on the vertical side with phase detect, you can really find that autofocus point really quickly. And boom, there it is. So um, I think this is a really good illustration of how it works. But as, as, as you guys know, sometimes you can't really, if, if well, without the, the cross type autofocus points, then it's really hard to photograph uh, to lock focus on a horizon uh, unless you go into a vertical orientation and focus on that horizon and then put your camera back in landscape. But with, cross, with a cross type, you know, you don't have to worry about that because uh, a, you know, the sky is here and the ocean is here and it's just got to match them up. Okay. But Imagine this is the sky and this is the ocean, then as you can see, it's not gonna it's not gonna grab focus. But if it was a cross type autofocus system, then it would have the vertical orientation and it could go um, actually my paper should be this way. It could go whoop, boom and lock that focus. Got it. Boom, you know. <laughs> um, so that's the advantage of having the, that cross type. You get the, you can lock focus on both, um, on both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane, which will give you much, much more accurate focusing capability. Okay, so let's move on. So the next type is contrast detect and. And I don't, I'm not going to illustrate the contrast detect, but if you really, once, it, once, you, once I explain it to you, then it might be a little simpler to get your, your, your um, mind around it. Okay, so what your camera does is it moves your lens 
and it looked for contrast. So that's why generally if you got if you got all one color and nothing that's contrasty, your camera won't focus on it. Um, you know, it just simply fail. So the contrast detect will move your lens back and forth, uh, focus it, see if it's in sharp focus. Yes, no. If it's no, focus it a little bit more, see if it's in sharp focus. Yes, no, and so forth and so on. Uh, which is why a lot of times you get that womp womp or that hunt hunt um, behavior uh, when you are looking, when you're trying to focus with, with, with contrast detect. Um, now let's move to that dual pixel auto focusing uh, system and I'm hoping, hopefully uh, I'll, I can help you I can help that make sense to you. So dual pixel autofocusing, it, um, sometimes you might see it as DPAF for dual pixel autofocusing, um, was introduced in 2013 in Canon 70D. And since, since that introduction, Canon has expanded it um, in um, pretty much all of the cameras that it has introduced, well, all of the DSLR cameras that it has introduced since then, and including its sign cameras. What the dual pixel autofocus does is it takes a pixel, primarily it breaks it into two parts, and then it basically do a, a phase detect uh, uh, operation on that pixel uh, and this is the oversimplification but that's basically what it does now now remember most DSLR sensors have somewhere in excess of 40 million pixels so and with face with Canon's phase detects system then it generally will will it's generally capable of using 80% of the sensor area um, to, to determine focus. So let's make, the, let's make the math simple. If your camera has 40, 40 million pixels and it's using 80% or 320 million um, pixels to determine focus, then you can see where phase detect um, you can see where du the dual pixel autofocusing system can really come into to being. Also, not only does it have the phase detect um, system, but in the event that phase detect fail, it would default to contrast detect on a pixel by pixel level. So you get the best of both worlds. Now, Dual pixel autofocus is, is really a powerful autofocusing system when it comes to live view because with, with phase detect and contrast detect autofocusing system, then the camera basically has to turn that system off when, you are, when you're using live view. Now, it turns it off and on really quickly, but that extra time that it's using to, to, to make the, to perform the operations can cause you to miss that focus. Uh, that focus, uh, turning it off and on could slow it down by fractions of a second or so. and. When something is moving fast, it don't take but a fraction of a second to miss that shot. So for live view um, or for videography, the, the dual pixel autofocus system is awesome. Now all three of these autofocusing systems work with the optical viewfinder. Uh, dual pixel autofocusing does or marginally better than the others. Um, but 
for, again, for video, it's the bomb. So there you go, guys. Face detect, divides the, the image into two and, and basically line them up. Okay, so you get the idea, even though <laughs> with, uh, without my paper being keyed, it doesn't line up, but basically line them up. Contrast detect looks for contrast, look for uh, contrast, and if it doesn't find it, then it say, well, is the camera out of focus? Let me refocus it, look for it again. If it doesn't find it, it repeats that operation and until it goes through the, the focal length. Uh, and it does it really quickly, so even when, when it's going from infinity to, to snap focus, it's actually looking so it can, it, you know, it's smart enough to narrow it down so it doesn't spend too much time, but occasionally you'll see it go through the whole focus system before it actually give up. So, so anyway, I hope this information has been helpful. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I read them all. If you want to become part of this community of photographers, hit that subscription button and subscribe. If you're going to shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. And remember, guys, keep shooting no matter what.